wings are one of the best accessories in Terraria. They can make fighting a boss much easier, and they don't even require much crafting recipe, and some they don't even need to be crafted. But you don't really have to upgrade wings that often, so this video will be going on over what wings are available at certain stage of the game. So you can obtain your first wings from the sky chest in the sky island, or from sky crates, or azure crates. This is the only wings in pre-hard mode. It is good for early pre-hard mode as it negates fall damage and it can glide. But for the entirety of pre-hard mode, I would recommend you to use Terra Spark Boots. For tier 1 you can either get Angel Wings or Demon Wings. Angel Wings is crafted with 10 Souls of Light, 10 Feather and 20 Souls of Flight. While Demon Wings is crafted using 10 Souls of Night, 10 Feather and 20 Souls of Flight. They are comparatively easy to obtain right after entering hard mode. Also you can obtain Fin Wings from Angler after the 10th quest, but it is not guaranteed. Tier 1.5 Wings can also be obtained right after entering hard mode. But they might need some grinding to be done, but they are better than Tier 1 Wings. You can craft Harpy Wings if you have a giant Harpy Feather, which has a 0.5% chance of dropping from Harpy. You can also craft Frozen Wings if you have Ice Feather, which has 1 in 3 chance of dropping from Ice Golem in a snowstorm, and it can glow in dark. And if you can grind out Pixie for 100 Pixie Dust, then you can craft Fairy Wings which can emit light when flying. You will need to defeat at least one mech boss for Tier 2 Wings. The easiest wings for Tier 2 is Jetpack, which can be purchased from Steampunker. For 40 gold at certain phases of the moon, or you have four options for the wings. Bat wings, bee wings, butterfly wings, and flame wings. The bat wings can be crafted from broken bat wings, which is dropped by vampire and solar eclipse, with 1 in 40 chance of dropping. The bee wings is crafted from tattered bee wings, dropped by moss hornet with 1 in 150 chance of dropping. The butterfly wings is crafted from butterfly dust, which drops from moths easily, or you can get flame wings which require fire feather, that drops from Red Devil, with 1 in 75 chance of dropping. After Plantera you have a lot of options for wings. You can craft the hoverboard with 18 shroom might bar and it can hover in the air. Or you can craft the specter wings with 10 specter bars. These two are the easiest to obtain during this time of progression. But if you want to make this process hard then, then you can go for these wings obtained from events. The Festive Wings has a low chance to drop from Ever Scream during Frost Moon event. And the Spooky Wings is crafted from Spooky Twig, which can be obtained from Morning Woods during Pumpkin Moon event. Or you can craft the Tattered Fairy Wings, which is crafted with Black Fairy Dust, dropped from Pumpkin in Pumpkin Moon event. For the easiest wings upgrade, you can purchase Steam Punker Wings for 3 Platinum from Steam Punker. Or you can craft Beetle Wings using Beetle Shell which the Golem drops. You could also fight a mini boss, the Mothrin for its wings. The Mothrin wings has 5% chance to drop from Mothrin. But if you want one of best wings, and also another accessory for infinite flight then, you could fight the Empress of Light for Empress wings and inside of Insignia. But if you want to obtain one of the hardest wings in the game then you can get Betsy wings from Betsy. But you will have to do the old one's army, which is really difficult to do even with endgame gear. If you want to know more about old one's army then watch this video. Now let's say, you just want a single pair of wings which will carry you for the entirety of hard mode, then you can consider Fisher and Wings. Well this wing can be obtained as soon as you reach hard mode but, it will require you to beat one really hard boss, Duke Fisherin. Duke Fisherin is summoned using a fishing rod at ocean with truffle worm as bait, but it will be really difficult with the gear you have. So most people either avoid it or beat it much later in the game. But this wings is in my opinion the best wings in the game as it has really good stats, doesn't slow in water and can be used all the way till the end. And if you beat Duke Fisherin, you can get Fisherin Mount, which has infinite flight and has amazing bonus in rain or water. After you reach endgame, you can craft for wings, solar wings, stardust wings, vortex booster and nebula wings. They are crafted using their corresponding 14 fragment with 10 luminite bar. Solar wings and stardust wings are great for vertical flight while Vortex Booster and Nebula Wings are great at horizontal flight and can hover in air. But if you want the best wings in the game, then Celestial Starboard is here. It has the best horizontal speed and vertical speed and leaves a rainbow trail. 
It truly is the end game wings. And they were most of the wings in Terraria. Well, you have developer wings, which every boss's bag in hard mode has a chance to drop. Except Queen Slime. And these are the one that look cool. And subscribe for more.